Also tonight, it's a case that's already shaken parents in schools in Chesapeake. A former bus driver accused of sex crimes against a child was in court, and we're hearing his arrest may not have come as a surprise to some. Today, Larry Homan faced charges for crimes against one girl. But from what we're hearing tonight, authorities tell us this is far from over. Ted on your side was there as Homan was denied bond. Right now, he faces six felony charges connected with a five-year-old girl. Homan drove buses for both Carver Intermediate School and Thurgood Marshall Elementary in Chesapeake. And just our story at five, the school system has spoken up about this. Then at your side, Jason Marks is here now with new information. Jason? Well, Tom, for 24 hours, we tried to get answers from Chesapeake schools. We've asked several questions, and some, but not all, were answered in this short statement school officials just emailed out to sum it up. As soon as school system learned of the allegations, immediate action was taken. That's not good enough for some parents. He doesn't belong on the street at all, period. Denied bond, 70-year-old Larry Holman will remain behind bars. The former Chesapeake school bus driver is charged with fondling a five-year-old student on his school bus, and prosecutors say there are other victims. You, you never know how many, how many more kids, you know? And I mean, it just, like I said, it, it hurts me, man. It really does. Michael Piercy believes his daughter could be one of those victims. His six-year-old was on Holman's bus last year when he says he caught her sitting on his lap. And I asked this guy, you know, what's going on? Why is my daughter sitting on your lap? You know, I don't appreciate this. But even worse, last night he talked to his little girl about Holman and she told her dad a secret. Yes, daddy, he touched my thigh, but he touched my thigh real hard. He squeezed my thigh. And I said, well, baby, what else did he do? You know, well, he touched my chest one time but I didn't think anything of it. Police are looking into the new claim. 10 on your side learned Holman drove for Chesapeake schools for two and a half years and another 10 years in New York. Every conversation that we had on the bus, no matter how the topic started about lunch or anything, somehow the kids that he babysat and the kids that he dealt with on a daily basis was in every conversation. A fellow bus driver who didn't want to be identified says she wasn't surprised at the charges. She talked with Homan a few weeks ago about why he was no longer driving a bus. He told us what he was being investigated for was the little girl said that every morning that he would tickle her on her sides on the bus. We now know the allegations against are much worse than that, and this co-worker believes it could have been prevented. I took it to a supervisor on their numerous occasions, and I basically got blown off. And finally, I just gave up on saying anything because they weren't doing anything about it. Holman will be back in court for his prelim September 8th. You can read the statement from the school system on wavy.com. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side. And our coverage of this story does continue on wavy.com. You'll see more pictures from court as well as what's next in this case.